meat on the other side. There's one side of a toad or a brim. Oh, toad, unfortunately. I'm completely baited. Bridge is full of uh, leather jacket and toads, but there's some big brim here too. Yep, 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 there's one. Yep, yep. Ah! Have to go heavier line tomorrow, Wayne. You're gonna eat that now, aren't yeah. you? Right now. Yeah. yeah. Winter is coming. I have to go and buy a pair of shoes this week. Look how many people eat Paramount Brim. <laughs> Good. That's oh, practice day today for the third round of the Berkeley team series brim comps we're in Sydney Harbour today so this is sort of what you call our home water game plan is just to check out the river have a bit of fun today see if we can find a few big fish all right it's a strange day because we got a 10 o'clock high tide today and tomorrow on the comp it's a 9 30 high tide because tonight we've got daylight savings. So we've pretty well got the same water as tomorrow when we start. Hey? You got a flask in your pocket having a little sip? No, I'm trying to get the zipper working. <laughs> I don't know why. I put this jacket on, right? We're going to start there. <laughs> shame, shame you didn't have a go for it, going. I've got it, why? No, 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 just 10 minutes ago. Oh. Just went for a swim. <laughs> What'd you lose him? Keys, one of his duff rods. What happened? Over. I just went to put my foot on the front because on that, on the left, you yeah. push down on it. Yeah. To bring it back up and my foot just slipped and I didn't win. Straight in. You went in? Water temperature's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Spectacular. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm feeling pretty lazy. I'm gonna go for that slow drag of gulp morning. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's an idea. I might do that. Dude, that didn't take long. What'd you start with, Wayne? What'd you start with? Oh, yeah. Took off like a broom. No, that's gotta be a big broom. He's hitting that drag on you. Oh, we heard that the big brim turned up in the power the other day, and first flat, first cast. Drag weight, that is nice. Yeah. Put him in the well. Yeah. All right, our first spot, spot number one, secret spot. Boat ramp. Pretty, pretty well safely say that was another fish, the same vintage as yours. Yep, yeah, I'm on. No, I didn't need to go worm hook, but I just thought I'd see see how active they are. Well. Pretty well, we know we're going to start first off today. Whoops. Two won't give up. Just stay up there, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, just pass that to him. He's actually better, hey, he's better than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> straight away. I really, when I put this gulp on, I thought, the bad move, why am I using a worm hook rig 
with a gulp on a flat that you should be using like stuff they want to chase. And I think I've had three cast. It looks like two legal fish. Nah, he might be under, he's a bit small, this fella. Yeah, yeah, because you got a, a smaller one a minute ago. Yeah. Most people will be going, we should get off this flat now. <laughs> but these are such good hooks. Take time with that one, I'm just going to get him off this one off. That's it. Haven't started the petty up? Yeah, I'll get it for you. Yeah. We haven't started the petrol up yet. Oh yeah, I did. To get it off the trailer. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, he's another good. fatty though. We'll run across these points, these two points. With your hard body, and I'll just drag this gulp through, and we'll just see what it like. Just curious to see how they're going to hit those. I think. Oh, I'm already on. <laughs> it's only a tiny fish, whatever it is, but. Oh no, that's what I didn't want to catch. Three casts, three fish, though. Come here. Come on, yeah. Okay, little flat out out wide, I, I think all the brim are up on the flat. Okay, we know they're holding up on that flat. So in this river's papers, rock, scissors, so I'm going to go straight across to this wall. We've got two hours of running tide, so the reason they're on these flats is they don't actually go up into the mangroves that much here. They feed on the mussel bed. Yeah, they can't get up mangroves. They can't really get up. So we go do this wall and then go to some mangroves where they can get up, you know, some deeper water mangroves, see if they're in there, and then go back and try out some other flats. First ferry for the day. Now that'll either stir the bite up on the walls with the wash or it'll stir the bite up on those flats. Oh, there was one there. Now we've got a bite to let ferry wash. Oh, and again, didn't feel special. So those fish, oh, had him again. Those fish on the flat were the ones we wanted because they were, got him. They were one bite, one fish, you know. But uh, this here, they had five casts before that ferry, not a bite. I'm thinking maybe they're not here. Um, as soon as the ferry wash comes through, bang, 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 bang. And that's a, just a barely legal, I imagine. I'll measure him just to check. Another ferry coming through now. Yeah, 25 to the, actually 24 and a half to the fork, 27 to the tip. So once you get a couple of fish on these gulps at the front nose, gets a bit loosey goosey. So we just trim it back a bit and then this little bullet head fits perfect as the head of the bait. There's an old pipe just up here too. It's just submerged, so there could be something right in that. What? Just turn the camera on, off I mean. And as I did it, the line's going dunk, dunk. And I'm trying to turn the camera on. And leaping little brim come out of that pipe. I didn't even set the hook anymore. I was just thinking. Turn that camera on. That comes straight out of the pipe. Like, plan, plan work perfectly, fish off the pipe, just a tiny little runt though. Yeah, 
there's another one there. Yep. That's better. Right on the rocks, mate. Oh yeah, much better fish. Hey? Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm just saying. That that's three now. That all right on the rocks. He swallowed it. Twenty-six to the four. No, keep him. Nice. Even push bike riders don't like vegans. <laughs> I thought the lycra clad were vegans. Get off there. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Thank you. Oh, a tiny little tailor. Caught this feeling, mate. Oh, here, get there out here. Dunk, dunk. Look at that. Fishing the wrong side. Just full of fill, landfill. Cool job. Hey, mate. One run through. I really like the colour of the water actually. It's the best it's looked all year. Oh, it's too slow there because I don't want leverage out to get me again. We're in the right lane. Okay. Him. Coming in hot man, I'll go over the other side. Oh don't worry, I've got it, I got it. Thank you. Did you thank him? Yeah. Oh, come on, a good fish. Oh. Busting me off. <laughs> that was a cracker, man. I could not stop him. I nearly got him, he stopped. I dropped the bow alarm. And then I didn't realize the bow alarm clicked my shot. So it just had that split second to get me. I have to find another worm. That was a good fish, man. I only got about three, four inches of my leader too, so. Very unlucky not to land that one. Oh, we'll go again. I'll be back in a second. all poles under this block so if anything's come if I spooked them and gone down they'll be under there oh toad look at that dunk 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 that'll do I'll meet you on the other side Toad or a brim? Oh, toad 
get on close one. Like I'm completely baited. Bridge is full of uh, leather jacket and toads, but there's some big brim here too. Yep, 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 there's one. Yep, yep. Ah! Have to go heavier line tomorrow, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, I've only got uh, three inches of leader left on that now. That was a serious fish. Well, we know they're here now. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah? I'll retie a leader. Actually, yeah, I'll do it here now. It's nice and comfortable. That was, that was big, big. Oh, no, I looked up and said, that. Yep. I could have pulled him up on, on heavier line. If I was running 10 pound there, I would have stopped him. You know, I just couldn't, like, yeah, he got me. The first one was, uh, like I'll call it bail arm error, but that one was just too hard to stop. So that's two in a row. And I had to fish through all the uh, leather jacket and toads. Like you could feel the tap, 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 tap. Like, uh, I probably had barely any bait left. I gotta get serious, man. I'm gonna take off my slippers now. Awesome. It's the end of my gulp, so I'm gonna try a slim swim. Sure, we get the same result. But unlike the flats we started on, these mangroves have water lifts up into the back of them. So what the game plan here is to cast into the shadows, into the mangroves. Pretty well quickly work a little back to the edge line where the mangroves drop in the mud and then just see if anything follows us out. There's some toad. If he, if he wants it that bad, the fish are on the bite, so we can move pretty quick. Alright, let's go find him. Over the tree. Think about this, the Z-Man, the Slim Swim. Oh, there's a little one. <laughs> I was expecting something better than that. But say so the Slim the slim Swim, when you skip it two, three times across the top, these mangroves, it looks like a prawn scurry. It creates a reaction. Wrong type of fish for that reaction, though. The gulp would have more punch when I'm trying to skip into that sort of stuff. Another little one. So they're on cue where they should be, but they're the wrong size. Especially after what we've seen on that bridge. They will, they will like, if we want to get a result. Probably sit on the bridge all day. All right, not one legal off that run. I keep thinking if they're not, it's papers, rock, scissors. If they're not there, they'll be on the other side. But while we've got a little bit more time for a mangrove bite, let's just go do another run somewhere else. It's a hard call when you sort of already know where there's a, a decent bag of fish to be caught. Like if we were socially fishing, we'd, we'd be over in the bridges still. This is Gary gave me this box yesterday. It's just awesome. It's got that many fittings. We'll have to fit your boat out. <laughs> so we don't have to carry the camera anymore. Try our second run of mangroves, see if we can find anything along here. The tides must be ready to turn now, Wayne. They must be ready to turn the tide now. It's 9.33, so... Oh, we got half an hour. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, 15, 15, 15 minutes. Oh, I can see here the water colour's better. There's bait boiling up here. Look at all the bait. Oh. See, if you drive us, see that next point up there? If you drive us right up to that, or a little bit past that, till we go, you'll see in your sound, are like, are we four, five foot? Three and a half, four, yeah, yeah. Go out a bit wider because there's a couple of rocks up here where it goes shallow, but you'll see a second drop off and you'll see it lift up to about a foot and a half. And we'll stop there and we'll fish all these mangroves coming back. Oh, Wayne's checking that out. I'm going to uh, rig up a finesse rod and get ready for the flat.
There's one. There's one. I don't think he's real big. Come to the top. Oh, not yet. So we're looking for school fish early. I don't even think it's a bream. Here's another whiting. Yeah, another whiting. Another crazy, crazy whiting. Hey? We're going nuts today. What good fish are they? Look at that. If you notice here with my hand and wrist, the whole technique of blade fishing is in that wrist. See how the, the elbow is solid? And I'm just shaking that and then just little wrist tops. And that stops you, like you, what you don't want to do is that just ripping it up. It is, a, it is a technique, like you can lift, rip up like that drop, but this style here is really, if you want to catch whiting, it's these little repetitive, yeah, there you go. See, I went, I went from the big lift to a little couple shakes and I'm straight away I was on. Two goes. Are you on, eh? Oh, so am I. Oh, that feels all right. This could wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Huh, you got a little brim, I don't know. I could have another big whiting. I could have finally found a decent brim in this flat. He's trying to shake off. And this is where, it's, this is where once again, this style of rod works for me because, see how forgiving it is, see how it just keeps loading up. eventually this fish will just wear out from bouncing off the rod. No big runs. I'd say if he is a bream he's only just a barely legal. But if he's a whiting, he's a nice one. Oh no, he's a nice bream. thought that there was a there's a little spot here that myself and Andy Parkinson has been fishing for years and years and years and when the whiting and flathead are down there there's usually some good brim so he's just dogging me I'm just gonna I've got to take my time with him because if he if he does a big charge he'll just pop that little blade so I'm letting the rod do the work I'm only holding it one hand he's a half decent brim not what we want but we won't whinge about it. It's just a patience thing. He's, he's absolutely bugged. I can just pull him in now, but taking no chance. See how you're spitting up food then, Wayne? He's only spit something out of the way. Yeah. No, it was all white food. Yeah. That's just a rot. That's all right. He's all right. Jeez, he's milky. He's only just come in, hasn't he? Now, that's the only reason I wanted to come up here. And another thing I noticed straight away is geez, he's got really sharp teeth. So to me that means that they're due, he's due for a, uh, a toothbrush, which means they're gonna definitely be feeding on the bridges and rocks. So, so put that one in the wall. 28 and a half. Fat though. 29 and a half. Yeah. Oh well we did go onto the whiting tangent for a while. So. Nice. Still, there was whiting, 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 now brim. <laughs> now brim. See that? See all the mullet um, jump, and then every time you see a bait spray. It's 
Yep, yeah, I'm on. Oh, I dropped him. That was loading up. Yeah, they're on their way out for sure. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, two, two off top. Oh, I didn't film any of that. I was just saying to the camera then, or to you guys, Wayne's just gone to get the ute. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw it in the well quick enough so he doesn't know it's in there. Uh -oh. Wait. 